Hey you, this is Jasim from CodeBand and in this video we are going to be talking about how to integrate the auto completion feature with Django. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon near to it. So without any further, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, so I have done a basic Django project setup, so I have a fresh new Django project here and I have uh, created an application named Core and I have added that application into the uh, installed app section in settings.py. Now uh, I have uh, the U basic URL setup, so the root URLs is getting included with the core.urls there. Now the core.urls have a basic, uh, the home path here which goes to the views.autocomplete function so in the views we just render that core slash home.html which is a template this one home.html here which has just the a kind of input field that, that has the name of product now uh, the kind of model we have here is called product model which has a title field and a quantity field just for the namesake quantity field actually we'll be using the title field itself to uh, for, for integrating the autocomplete feature now uh, i have done the uh, make migrations and migrate command and i have added uh, or created a new super user and i have added a couple of uh, products there so uh, if we look into the uh, i have run the server so if you look into the application this is just uh, just a, a pure input field nothing uh, more special we'll be adding the autocomplete feature to this product field here so uh, i have all, already added three products here pencil paper and soap and um, yeah that's pretty much it that's pretty much the uh, initial configuration now uh, we'll be starting to actually integrate those autocomplete now we'll be using a uh, jquery ui autocomplete feature now there are a couple of other uh, libraries as well which provides this uh, kind of autocomplete feature but we'll be using the jquery ui so as you can see there is a live example here if i type in some some letters it actually gives me that uh, kind of uh, list there which is actually uh, related to a itself so um, the code here you can see that in the view source we have the code here so we'll be just copy and paste this uh, some of the code here and i'll, I'll just explain that those code in a minute so first of all we'll just take uh, this one uh, th this link here uh, which is the jquery ui.css so uh, in the home.html I'll just paste uh, up at the top here so the next thing we'll, we'll just copy and paste these two scripts which is jquery and the jquery UI so at the bottom uh, underneath the uh, form I'll paste those things there now the next thing we are gonna be doing is we'll just copy this script here and I'll just show you what it is in a moment so I'll just paste uh, that um, maybe uh, at the bottom here so yeah we'll we'll first get rid of these available tags here i'll just show you what exactly it is and yeah that's it now in here uh, you can see uh, i'll just get rid of this one now what I, what this exactly does is the dollar function it is a jquery shorthand for dollar document dot ready function so when all the dom elements are loaded it will just call this anonymous function here now this tags here is actually uh, the uh, kind of uh, the input uh, id here so our uh, id here is product so we'll just replace that with product and dot autocomplete um, this autocomplete function takes in an object, uh, an object uh, that has the first one as source. Now the source is actually a list of items. So which one, which one the uh, jQuery UI want to filter? So for example, if I say like, um, uh, yeah, we'll just make uh, for, uh, for example, we'll just say some programming languages here. So Python, PHP, and all. So if I just uh, save this one and if I uh, go back to our application itself, 
So in here, as soon as we start to type in a letter, you can see that auto completion feature there. Now that's coming from this list here. It's filtering there. So if we just say J, it gives you that J is there. So in in this case, we just explicitly stated that uh, list there. So in our case, what we will be doing is we'll we'll just go to the backend and fetch those items that starts with or that contains uh, whatever we typed in here so if we just say j then we have to go to the back end and just fetch those items that has j or that starts with j so that logic will be writing now now um, the source as you can see in the documentation itself now i'll put the link in the description section and uh, uh, as you go along the api documentation here and if we just go to the source here as you can see the source here you can see that the source accepts uh, three types of uh, arguments like uh, the array or string or function now the array is like the uh, just like we did this one choice one and choice two now there is uh, one thing called string now when a string is used as you can see here the autocomplete plugin expects that it is a url now uh, that that returns some json data so it actually, if we uh, provide a URL there, it'll just uh, give you a GET request to that URL with the query string term to be whatever we typed in in that field, in that particular field. So this is exactly what we want. So what we will be doing is we'll get rid of this list and we'll just make uh, a string there. Now the URL. Uh, we'll, we'll use the URL to be the, uh, as you can see, we, we named the URL to be autocomplete, the same URL that renders this page. And we'll just provide that URL there, so autocomplete. Yeah, that's it. Now, uh, that's done. Now, uh, this one, this, uh, this source will make a GET request to this URL uh, with that query string there with the name term is equal to whatever we typed in so we need to actually fetch that in our views and uh, write the logic there so we'll start with um, checking that if there is a term so if term now the term is actually whatever we typed in so if term in a request dot get which means in the request dot get library if there is something called term which means if we actually uh, if you are using the autocomplete feature if you are typing in something into that field then we actually want to um, filter uh, our product model so we'll just say qs query set is equal to product now product is our um, kind of uh, model name so i'll just import that up at the top here so product dot objects dot filter we'll just filter now uh, the filter we have the title field in the product so title then i'll just say starts with i starts with i i stands for insensitive or uh, case insensitive so title i starts with now whatever uh, the uh, term here is so request dot get dot get of term so this term is actually whatever we type in there it will be in the request dot get dictionary there so with this one said we'll just filter those things there now we need to actually pass in a list of those titles right so the source actually expects that uh, uh, this one uh, actually returns a list of a json uh, a json list so actually we can uh, what we can do is we'll just make a python list here so titles is equal to uh, we'll, we'll just say an empty list and uh, we'll loop through the uh, products the query set we we just filtered there so for product in qs uh, we'll just say uh, the uh, the titles dot append we'll just append the product dot title so we'll just loop through that uh, query set and we'll just append those title to the titles list there so that is now a list now we'll actually uh, return a json response so I'll say JSON response. I'll import that JSON response. So uh, as you can see up at the top, from Django.http JSON response, and we'll just say like um, the uh, titles. So the titles itself. Now we need to actually pass in a safe equal to false because the JSON response actually expects the first argument to be a dictionary. Now in our case it is a list so we need to actually pass in a second argument a keyword argument say if is equal to false now with that being said if we uh, just come back to our application and reload you can see that 
if you just type in like in, in our um, products we have three products so I'll just start with P you can see that there, there comes in the paper and pencil so pencil paper and all those things comes in now there is also one thing called soap there so that's perfect that's totally working now you could of course replace this with title I contains now which means whatever that uh, the keyword ender contain is contained in this uh, in, the, in that particular um, objects here it'll just uh, show you so for example if you just say PE it actually uh, the PE is in the paper right and also in the pencil so it shows both so th that's all about uh, the uh, auto completion feature here now there is something called min length here uh, actually uh, an argument uh, uh, a key called min length which actually um, is the minimum length so if we just type in two letters then only the get request will be fired so uh, if we just save that and come back in here now if we just start to type in one letter it actually didn't give you any response but as soon as, soon as we uh, write the second letter it gives you that auto completion feature so uh, that's I believe the end of this video now this is one way of doing it there are a couple of other ways of doing it this one seems to be very simple and yeah I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any doubts or any sort of errors while doing this one please do let me know in the comment section and uh, 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 I have prepared the uh, github repository here so I'll put all the links in the description section and if you like the project please give you please drop a star here and uh, yeah that's it uh, that's all about the video uh, I hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video please hit the thumbs up button and thank you for watching we'll see you in the very next one